Good morning, class. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes we can. Yes, All right. yes, we can hear you. Hello. How are you? Are you so good? What's a good day? How was your day today? Really good. Sometimes busy, but you know, occupational hazard. Yeah. Hey, you know what they say? Another day, another dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Another day and another good experience. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Let me check one thing here. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me check here. Okay. Um, it's hot today. Did it rain by your house today? No. It is windy, but not raining. Okay. So we have Claudia and, uh, well, we have, yeah, Claudia Marcela. Hey, Claudia Marcela, you actually have light today. Yeah, I'm in the living room. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you're usually, you're usually always in the dark. Well, normally you're in the dark. Okay. Um. Ana Claudia, Alejandra Elizabeth, Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto, the WFM guy, Rafael Antonio. Adel. What do you do in WFM anyway? It's like the workforce, right? You need to be checking. Yeah, you need to be checking the, the requirements. Uh, that means maybe the advocates or agent that are logging on different intervals mm -hmm. or intervals is uh, half hour, each half hours. Because you have like one forecast, forecast call volume. So you need to ask for that for uh, forecast call volume. If but, not, uh, but WFM is workforce management, right? Yep, workforce management. So for example, you check the availability yeah, I'm agents. checking the availability. Uh, maybe the some of, some access abuser. Mm -hmm. I need to report them, and at the same time, I'm preparing some reports to yeah. show to the to the main client. Right now, I'm working with uh, United Felker. I don't know if you know what it, what does mean if the. Maybe it's the the company that handle the insurance in United mm -hmm. States. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I think I worked with them because mm -hmm. I I worked for two years as an interpreter. Mm -hmm. That that's that's a really interesting job. I would recommend anyone to to do that. It's very interesting, and we worked with uh, with doctors. Uh huh. And insurances, and there was a lot of United Healthcare. Oh, okay. Um, at the same time, we saw we we are we are checking Asemsha. I don't know if you heard some Asemsha. Hello, Medicare. No. No. But you know one thing. One thing I I realized working interpreting. Mm -hmm. I think in El Salvador. Now this is not mm -hmm. funny. You you will laugh, but but it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think in El Salvador we do have a good health system. Yeah, I agree with you because when you travel, go to another country, and you realize how much they pay in order yes. to get service for healthcare. It's it's incredible. 
that yeah. will be making a lot of people, most of the 60%, I will think, of the population, Salvadorian population, won't get a service. No. No. And that is what people, they I don't know why they don't understand. When you travel and you uh, know people from another country, they pay $1,000 or so, so hundreds of dollars every month mm -hmm. in order to get a service for help. Yes, what happens is like, for example, in the United States, it's it's really, it's really sad because, for example, it's an obligation. You do have to pay insurance. So let's say, mm -hmm. um, let's say Ade Adelina, you're married, correct? Sorry, what was the question? Uh, you're married, correct? Yeah. Correct. Okay, and you have children, correct? No, no yet. Okay, but imagine you have a child. So in the United States, you have to pay insurance. So you say, okay, I have one child. I will pay a pediatrician and I will pay dentist. And for me, I will pay um, doctor and I'll pay this. Okay, good. So you're paying. You're paying monthly. What happens is that when your child gets sick, you take him to the pediatrician because you're paying insurance. But guess what? The pediatrician is going to tell you, yes, but what your son has is a speciality, and that does not exactly. cover it by it. in oh. in everything. Everything is a speciality. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the dentist. You know, you go for a oh yeah, aquí le hacemos limpieza, just something basic. But if you have a root canal, that's not covered. It's not covered, and then you pay thousands so of expensive. thousands of dollars. Sucks, so, like, for example, in El Salvador, yes, El Seguro Social is bad. It's ironic because it's bad when it's something very basic, but it's good when it's something very, very serious. For example, I and, and this this is from a personal um my my wife's brother, he works in mop. He had an accident, he broke his foot, his leg in 10 different pieces wow. and they they reconstructed his leg he was he was in bed for one year i think but they put like five titanium titanium sticks in his leg that okay. operation in the united states was eighty thousand dollars minimum mm -hmm. here it was free i mean um my child my son when he was born he had a problem with his pancreas it wasn't developed so he had to stay in the hospital and uh, primero de mayo he was born there and do you know the the cubicles la burbujas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they yeah. are nice now because you you see the hospital from outside is ugly but from inside it's nice so what happened is my son was in that cubicle and there was like a calculator and that calculator had his heart rhythm, his temperature, his movement, everything was, the, it was a, a computer. So um, my brother, he's a doctor he, and he, he, he recommended me. He said, no, have, have your child in a seguro. Don't have him in a private hospital because in a private hospital, they're going to do something. Hey, look, your son looks a little yellow. Stay one more day. <laughs> Stay, you know. Mm -hmm. they <laughs> and and what my brother told me is that, you know, that that but my, my son stayed in the hospital two more weeks. And my brother told me that in a private hospital, that would have been $1,000 per day. Per day, that's right. And he would have stayed one month. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you know, so then you, you realize that it's instant. So what I tell people, of like uh, Ana Claudia says, people from other countries, in El Salvador, the universal health care is, I mean, the health care is universal. Mm -hmm. it, it's not perfect. I, I know it's not perfect, but if you compare, but if you have a doctor, you can, it can, yeah. if you compare, I mean, to the United States, to the mm -hmm. United States, you know, see my man, every time I had a so commercial, had, I heard my cousin and my, my niece, and she suffered a lot because, you know, what she's doing. My niece is coming every since like around every two or three months here because the doctor is, the yeah. doctor is here. She prefers to mm -hmm. be assisted here. I had a, 
I had a boss. He had an open heart surgery here in Seguro. Mm. Wow. Open heart surgery. Can you imagine it? And uh, free. O sea, it's free because, of, you know, you pay insurance. But it's, it's mm. so I, I think it's good. It's it's bad and it's good. You know, it's bad and it's good. Depends. <laughs> Depends how you see it. But you know what? Sometimes I do understand. I do understand why people from a Seguro are bad. <laughs> I remember I used to get angry when I had to go visit my son because the visiting hour was only one hour. And it took me 30 minutes to go in. You know why? Because all the mothers always took extra food for the for the for the mothers. Las mamás mm -hmm. caldos. Que caldo de, de sopilote. No sé qué, you know, and the, the security, they had to, they always check their bags. They always check their bags. What is this? You can't, you can't put, you can't put food inside. No, pero esto es caldo de, de tacuacín y bueno para no sé qué. You know? Oh my God. I was like, oh my God. And you know, the security guard, every day he fought the mother, the abuelas, every day. <laughs> like saying, please understand your daughters have a special diet according to the doctor no food please no but this is is gallina oh my god so 30 40 <laughs> minutes just people checking food <laughs> so you know sometimes i do understand i, I i'm not justifying but it's a difficult job to to put up with those people <laughs> it, it's It, oh, and you know, and sometimes I was visiting my wife and, and I heard the doctors, why are you doing that? But doctors get angry because mothers, they put the, the soup inside their, their shirt or anything. And <laughs> mothers believe more old people than the doctors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the old school. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it was sad. Um, okay, so let, but you know one thing I was very very happy about that it, it's not politics, but I, one thing I'm I'm very happy that this government did. I remember when I was because my son was there for the two weeks. I met a mother that her son her son had a problem that only his head was only his head grew his body didn't. Mm. So it was it was very difficult to see the baby because the baby had a big head, but his body wasn't. And what happened is that the mother was from Metapan. And I asked her, how, how do you do? I mean, because visiting hours was at one and five. So at five, it was impossible because she had no bus. And I said, what, what do you do? So no, I stay here. I go, I go, I go home every two days or three. And where do you stay? And she says, anywhere. I, I stay in a gas station. It was so sad. And um, I remember I gave her money a couple of times. She never asked me for money. No, she never. It was my intention. It was my intention. Yes. And um, and I always said, why, why don't a church or or a foundation they should rent a house for mothers because i never thought about that for me it was easy i lived 10 minutes from the hospital but what about the mothers from la union from san miguel and this <clears throat> so i was very happy when i saw that the new i the new i guess the new government um they used a floor they cleaned one complete floor that was like a bodega <laughs> and they put many Many, um, they decorated it. They put many beds and facilities for mothers. That so I was very happy when I saw that because I I saw that, and I always ask myself, how come an, 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 any government before that or a doctor, how come the, the, they never suggested that idea? Um, you know, <laughs> it, because all the mothers outside, oh man, it was it's sad. But um, yeah. So, so Jose, yeah. So, where insurance is a very big deal in the United States, and you know the yeah. funny, you know the funny thing is, like uh, I was explaining. So, if you pay a speciality and you don't pay a basic, you know how much an aspirin costs in a hospital, <laughs> like fifteen dollars, just one aspirin. Yeah. 
<laughs> for one, o sea, you 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 have to pay anyway. Sí, You're always going to pay. Because if you say, no, I have a premium insurance. Oh, yeah, but you only cover specialities. And, and what you have is basic. <laughs> so here, here's one aspirin. And okay, how much is the aspirin? Oh, the aspirin is $14. And the room stay is $300, $400. For, <laughs> I don't know, it's just... It's a very good business. Exactly. Do you say the magic word? It's a business. Yeah. You know, what call center, know? call center people. When I was in <laughs> Dell, <laughs> remember, uh, Anna, Claudia, you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yeah. you were there when they they actually they were introducing Dell. They had they had um. They had something similar to the iPod. And I remember. Okay. I remember that we were in a in a meeting and they they talked about the iPhone because in that time it was like wow the no the iPod salió primero and the risk the risk that Apple took with the iPod and everybody was talking because I don't know if you remember people if you ever had those telephones 10 20 years ago the cell phones that they were the the cell phone was good because it was hard and the battery lasted five days and you can drop it and break and it doesn't break you said nokia yeah <laughs> so then everybody was surprised that that ipod came out with something something totally different because ipod came out apple came out with the ipod number one you can't open it <laughs> To change the battery and number two everywhere you see in the ipod it breaks remember that it was very fragile so it was yeah. a very it was a very big big risk they took because everybody says no i don't want that i mean it's gonna Put fall because number. everybody had the mentality of the nokias <laughs> and, <laughs> and it worked because what happened was that the insurance <laughs> Because every time you bought an iPod, it had an insurance and you had to buy the cover. And then, you know, the battery only lasted three years. Y casualidad, three years later, the new iPod came out, <laughs> like the iPhones. And then, you know, your battery is going down, but the new iPhone comes out. So it was a very, very good move. So many companies copied the idea of, um, of Apple of making things fragile so you can pay insurance. That is the same happening. Well, I guess you know that all these uh, thing with the viruses, you know, McAfee creates the viruses and they always have the answer or, or the resolution for that. Yeah. So, so we all knew, even though people who was working in the McAfee team, they admitted off the record, of course, <laughs> but everybody knows oh, yeah. the same uh it's it's a business <laughs> it's a business everything it's, is a business unfortunately yes yeah. and and unfortunately we have to live by that i'm sorry did you say and we have to live by that oh yeah yeah that's the, the hey, do, do you want to hear an interesting fact mm -hmm. talking about um what is the logo of apple An apple? Oh, no, the logo? Yeah. Like the, the iPhone. Icon. The icon. What is the logo? Yeah. What? One what? One apple. Apple. A bit an apple, right? Yes. Okay. A bit an apple. What is the biggest competition? Uh, um, what's competition for Apple? Could be Samsung? Samsung. Yes. Do you know what is the logo? Do you know what is the logo for Samsung? It's very simple. Remember, it's it's Samsung Oval. Mm. So, uh, there's this theory that that oval is the bite of the apple. <laughs> oh, because um, okay. Samsung want they, they Samsung and Apple hate each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So then there's a theory that Samsung, the, the, because if you notice it's an oval and then the apple is the missing part, the bitten part should be the Samsung, the complete. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody looking at their phone. I am poor. I use Android. Oh, no, I use, a, a, I'm happy with a Lenovo what I bought three years ago. I bought, <laughs> <laughs> bought it on the internet. Yeah, it, it, look, look, I am so embarrassed. Look, look at my, my cover, my phone cover. That is nice. <laughs> it's pink. It's pink, <laughs> it's pink and purple. <laughs> Someone bothering you. That's but it works, right? Phone. No, it yeah. Works. No, yeah. What happened is my wife and I, we had the same phone. Oh. But my wife changed her phone. And you know, I kept mine. I don't really care about phones. I, I like cameras. My my thing is cameras, but my protector broke. And I can't find another protector. <laughs> so my That's wife, good. she told me, hey, I still have the old protector. So animals. <laughs> but you know, sometimes I forget that like, is like Barbie's protector. Yes, you know, I think <laughs> it was yesterday, I think I was in the bank. No, I was I know I was in Claro. And I started talking on the phone and, and then I noticed that people were looking at me and it's, oh my God. <laughs> so if you know a, a protector for Motorola, hey, I said, please tell me <laughs> where can I get one? Because look, that's not, that's not cool. What, what would Rambo say? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, listen, do you see here negative factual questions? Oh, sure. Yeah, we we'll see. Yes. Okay, first we have to understand what is a factual question. And I think I think the um the name explains it. Fact. You know, a factual comes from a fact, correct? Factual questions, but in a negative form. So let's see about this. Let's do some reading. Dennis, what's up? Hey, teacher. I'm doing good. All right. What happened yesterday? I, I, I didn't know you were in the class. Yeah, I couldn't, teacher, because someone from my uh, from my wife's, well, uh, passed away. Oh, man. Uh, Sorry about that. Yeah, so I have to be in the... Wait a minute. Oh. Wait. No, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but... Someone from my wife's what family? Yeah, yeah. One. Oh, how do you say that? <laughs> Relative. Yeah, it's a family in law. So I, said... I don't know. We can say that. Okay, good. Uh, no, no, you you say in laws. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in laws. The only, the only, the only ones that do have an official name are the immediate family. Which is mother in law, father in law, brother and sister in law. Yeah. But you can't say, for example, it's very strange. Nobody's going to say cousin in law, grandmother in law. <laughs> I mean, they're just my wife's grandmother <laughs> or my, <laughs> my wife's in laws. All right. So it's, wait, wait, but I don't understand. So if it's your wife's in laws, it's your family then. Yes, it's my family. So mm -hmm. I have to go to uh, Huachapan. Actually, I was coming like uh, 15 minutes before 8 p.m. Oh. And then I just I just came oh. to the house. I just put some things in the in the room. Then I turn on the computer and I no, no, the no. class. But, but what I'm saying is that if it's your wife's in-laws, then it's your direct family. Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry. It's my in-laws. Oh, okay, good. So it's your in-laws. My in-laws. Yeah. Yeah, because your wife's in-laws. <laughs> yeah, it's my my direct family. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's let's do the video. Um, tell me if you can see it. Oh wait. Let me share sound. Let me share sound. Do 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 do. Okay, let's do this. Welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 1. In this first course, we will show you two types of reading questions. 
negative factual information questions and factual information questions. If you think you need to take notes, feel free to do so, or you may play this audio program as needed. First, we will show you negative factual information questions. Negative factual information questions ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions, except that instead of only one answer being true, three of the four answers are true, and you have to determine which one is false. For negative factual information questions, look for the words NOT or EXCEPT in capital letters. Keep this tip in mind. For the negative factual information questions, remember that you are looking for the answer that either isn't in the paragraph or directly contradicts information in the paragraph. Now let's try a negative factual question. Okay, before we do that reading, so when you take the exam, it's gonna uh, a negative factual information question. It, you will rec it's recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text, in the reading, in what you're gonna read. All right. Major ideas, supporting details, or definitions. Except that one answer, except that one answer being true, three of the four answers are true. And you have to determine which one is false. This is in the exam. So how many are going to be false? One. Just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do the reading. Major ideas, supporting details, or definition. So remember, the text is going to, you got you to gotta look for major ideas, supporting details, or definitions. Except that instead of only one answer being true, three of the four answers are true, and you have to determine which one is false. So once again, I'm sorry, let me, let me rewind. Negative factual information questions look have to determine which one is false. So it says, except that normally on, on, only one answer is true. You, you know, when, when you take an exam, normally only one answer is true. Here, no. In the TOEFL, three answers will be true out of the four. So one will be false. And that makes it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> because... Obviously, you know, you, you have to know, okay, wait, I have four options. Oh, man. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> you know, that's when people go, oh, I hate TOEFL. Okay, so let's do, okay. Do you understand? Yes. yes. All right, so Lisette, how many possible answers will you have? How many answers will be in the questions when 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 you take the test and you're in negative factual information questions? How many answers will you have? No more. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa Castillo. Mm, okay, how how four? No, you will have four. No, you see, I I know I and I you have to because this is part of the understanding. You have to understand my question. So when you take the exam, instead of one or instead of one answer, you will have four answers, and in those four answers, only three are right, and you have to know which one is false. So mm -hmm. when you said three, I understand what you were trying to say, but it was not the correct answer because you have to, this is where you have to pay attention to, because this is TOEFL class. You have to really pay attention to the, um, to the question, okay. because remember I told you yesterday, if you don't understand the question, you will not understand 
the answer. Okay, so let's do it. False. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. For negative factual information questions, look for the words not or except in capital letters. All right, so remember, when you see not or accept, that would be a negative factual information question. Keep this tip in mind. For the negative factual information questions, remember that you're looking for the answer that either isn't in the paragraph or directly contradicts information in the paragraph. Okay, so this is this is the answer that you're looking for because remember, one is false. Yeah, so when you read the four answers, which one is it that is not in the paragraph? Or which one contradicts the information of the paragraph? Let me um let me do uh let me improvise something here with you. But instead of doing four answers, I'm going to do three. Claudia, Marcela, do you know the story of, or class in general, do you guys know the story of um, Thanksgiving? Yes. Can you tell me the story, but like in the kiss form? Remember kiss yesterday? <laughs> simple. Yes, yes. Just tell me the story simple. What is the story of uh, the turkey? Uh huh. Turkey is a symbol, or no? Okay, no. But tell me, what is Thanksgiving? Why Why do people celebrate Thanksgiving? Well, I I, I know that uh, there are some people from uh, Europe that uh, has come into USA, and uh, they have no food, and uh, some uh, native native people. Uh, went to them and they give the, some food and some seeds to, to grow and they get a, a they eat together and yeah. uh, and that for that reason they give uh, thanks for they can uh, eat and they have uh, seeds to grow and they can survive in the new land and they was grateful for that reason. Exactly. Good. All right. Yes. Yes, those people that were coming from Europe, they were pilgrims, and they were escaping the uh, religions. Yes. And what happened is that when they came to America, uh, the it, they can survive with the, the climate. And the, mm -hmm. the, the, because they when it was cold, to, it was cold. When it was hot, it was hot. When it was this, the earth, the, the land is uh, difficult for them because they know the weather was difficult and okay yeah uh oh my computer froze can you hear me class well that uh, for some reason this guy was living in europe some years before and they did know some some uh, some words because they don't have uh, the, the how to communicate. They can communicate with them and uh, give them some directions and some information about how to do the, the work of the land and the, how to get a harvest. Okay. Yes, so what happened was that the Indians, they they observed the, the pilgrims for many months. And when they realized that the pilgrims, they were not dangerous, <laughs> The poor Indians decided to help them, and they taught them everything. So what happened was that when more more Europeans come, the the Europeans in America taught them. They started teaching them, and you know they were friends for a little while, and then they took their lands. They they took them like slaves and everything. That was unfortunately. That's why some people don't celebrate Thanksgiving, because. People always, they say, oh, yeah, that, that was the only good part, that people celebrated with a big feast. But the this history after that was terrible, you know, when they took their lands, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so, Claudia Marcela, A, 
a um the pilgrims came to america b the indians helped them c the pilgrim i'm sorry I, I, i'm sorry, wait wait a the pilgrims came to america b the indians helped the pilgrims c the pilgrims invited the indians to a feast and d christopher columbus discovered them after <laughs> which is not the right one the last one all right cool the okay yeah and that was easy because it was you know that was easy but you will have something similar in the TOEFL, but in reading. So look what it says here. Keep this in mind. You're looking for an answer that is not in the paragraph or directly contradicts information of the paragraph. So in my example, it was not a paragraph. It was a story. Yes. And Christopher Columbus was not in my story. <laughs> yes. In my, in my story was the Indians and the pilgrims. So, okay, do you understand what, what you're going to do now when you read? Okay, and I think there's a reading here. Now let's try a negative factual question. Here's a paragraph about sports and its risks, and here is the answer. All right, cool. So let's try a negative factual question. So what are we going to look for, class? Two things, remember? Two things that we're going to look for. Uh, we are looking for phrases that isn't in the paragraph or also for uh, um, uh, phrases that contradict. Exactly, yeah. Contradicts. Contradicts the paragraph. Thank you. Okay, good. So let's pay attention to the words. I mean, it maybe it's not mentioned or it contradicts the paragraph, okay? So we, we, I need, how many paragraphs are here? Let's see, one, two paragraphs. Let, let's do, I need two people. Who wants to read the first paragraph? Only one Me person, too. please. Me, you want? All right, I'm sorry. I think Nixon, you said first, right? I'm sorry? I'm sorry, did Nixon, did you did you say first? I heard somebody say. Uh, Me, did you? Me, who, who's, oh, okay, David. Okay, David, yes. you read the first paragraph, and then Anna, Claudia, you read the second, please. Okay. All right, go. Okay. Almost all sport uh, in outdoor leisure activities carry real risk. Swimmers drown, mountaineers fall, skiers are, are swept away from by avalanche, and boxers are killed by, boxers, sorry, are killed by blows to the head. A person's skill experience is no warranty against disaster. In fact, the better an athlete is, the greater the temptation to break records or succeed in doing something that has never been done before. Danger which tests nervous. I see, no, sorry. Courage and skill is an essential element that adds thrill and enjoyment to a sport. Okay. okay. Although, Although those who organize sports formulate their rules in a way to minimize the risk of injury and to ensure that medical assistance is uh, readily uh, really available, readily, readily mm -hmm. available, no amount of no amount of caution readily. can alter. Hmm? Readily, I'm sorry. Readily, ah, okay, readily available. No amount of caution can alter basic facts. Even the best trained horse may panic. Motorcycles give little protection in a crash. And a hard uh, driving golf ball can go stray. Go astray, okay? Mm -hmm. So according to the passage, all of the following are risks, sports, except... Mm -hmm. Storms. Storms. <laughs> Storms, yeah. Why? Cold. Why? Hmm? I think cold. 
este the letter A. Oh, okay. Falls. Oh, that's tricky. Okay, except falls. Okay. Okay, so but let's okay, good. You know, fault of course is a risk, storm is a risk, as accident is a risk, avalanche is a risk. But why did you say storm? Because uh, the paragraph doesn't mention any storm, any a risk or storm. Yeah, because it does mention all of them except storm. <laughs> so in this case, let's see if we're right. Did I have a, a yeah, I don't know if I, no, I'm sorry? Yeah, I don't know if I took a different note, but in the fa negative factual information question, this is negative factual information or negative factual question? Negative it's the factual, same. well, it's the same thing because it, it, the, the, the topic is called negative factual question. And the mm -hmm. negative factual question is according to the passage, all of the following risks are in sports except. Oh, what that in order for us to look the correct answer is the first notes we saw that recognize that is something implicitly stated. That mm -hmm. is to recognize the good one. Ah, in order to recognize the grown answer, mm -hmm. we need to look for the answer that I got it. Was the second one okay? For the, for okay. the reason was yeah, the, the previous uh, was saying that it was three that are true and only mm -hmm. one that is false. Yeah, but yeah. when you read the question in the test, in order for you to find the correct answer, it will be something that is implicitly stated in the mm -hmm. paragraph. But in order to find or the contradicts. Answer, hmm? or it contradicts, mm -hmm. uh huh. But in order to find the negative answer, so the wrong one. We need to look for answers that uh, they are not part of the paragraph, right? Exactly. Ah, okay. and, no. and you know, and it's tricky, and it's tricky mm -hmm. because storm is a risk too. So, so that's why that's why, that why that it, uh -huh, but that's why it's gonna make you think like hey man, but storm <laughs> is risk, fall, accident, avalanche. They all they all have something in common, mm -hmm. but at the end, storm is not mentioned. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Negative factual information question because of the word except in capital letters. So three of the choices are going to match information in the paragraph and only one will not. Let's see how many correct choices we can find by scanning for keywords that appear in the answers like mountaineers fall, risks, avalanches, and so on. We may also need to look for synonyms of these words. So if we scan the paragraph for some text about false, that corresponds to choice A. We find this and it's a match. For choice C, we found that information here, where it talks about risks. Choice D is here, where it talks about skiers are swept away by avalanches. But there's nothing in the paragraph that talks about storms. So choice B looks like it might be the answer. Therefore, choice B is our answer. All right, so good, good class. Everybody got it right. Everybody said mm -hmm. storm. <laughs> now, this is a negative factual information question. Now let's go to a factual information question. Let me see one thing. Hold on. Do you see, look, I'll send you something on the chat right now. Okay, let's do the factual. We will now move on talking about factual information questions. They are similar to the previous type because they ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as mayor ideas, supporting details, or definitions. Okay, look, look, now this is contrary. Now this will ask you to recognize information that is explicitly, explicitly stated in the text. 
in the previous we said storm because it's not in the text. Okay. So here it has to be in the text. Factual information questions would have phrases like, according to the paragraph, or paragraph X answers which of the following in the question. Here's a tip for answering factual information questions. Don't automatically select an answer just because it contains words or phrases from the paragraph. Make sure you carefully evaluate each option to determine if it is correct. Take a look at sample of factual information questions. Go on reading the passage. Remember, factual information questions look for only one right answer. Be careful when selecting your answer, because three of the four answer choices misstate information from the passage or contradict information from the passage. Okay, so now we're looking that it is stated or implied in the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, remember, just because maybe it could have some words that are in the text doesn't mean that it's the correct. You have to read the complete sentence and see and analyze. Is, is this a stated in the text? <laughs> okay, and the last person to read was Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia, can you do me a favor? Can you choose somebody, please, of your classmate to read? Oh, we have mm -hmm. one, two, three paragraphs here. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, what? I'm sorry, one, two, three, four paragraphs. So um, the next person, can you please read the paragraph and finish when it says that was produced in the box? Okay, so Claudia, choose somebody to read, please. Okay, let's see, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, In so, the 11th. I'm sorry, so Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza, you will stop where it says the, the last sentence, but it was not box. possible to preserve that image that was produced in the box. Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. In the 11th century, people noticed that if a small hole were put on one wall of a darkened room, then light coming through the aperture would the aperture. make a picture. The aperture would make a picture of the scene outside on the op opposite opposite wall of the room. A room like this wall called a camera camera. Camera obscura. Obscura. Mm -hmm. Artists later use a box to create a camera obscura with a lens in its opening the, to make the picture clear. But it was not possible to preserve the ima image that was produced in the box. Awesome. Can you choose the next person, please? Mm -hmm. Let me see, Claudia Marcela. In 1727, mm -hmm. Johann Heinrich Schultz mixed chalk silver and nitric acid in a bottle. He found that when the mixture was subjected to light, it became darker. In 18 Twenty-six. Joseph Nightford. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. I don't know how to say that. Uh, okay, Nightsy. Nightsy. Okay, Nightsy put some paper dipped in a light-sensitive chemical into his camera obscura, which he left exposed in the window. The return was probably the first permanent photographic. Imagine the imagine image, nephew, image the image uh, nif, nif, <laughs> made was the negative a picture in which all the white parts are black and all the black parts are white. Later, Lois Degger found a way to reserve the black and white parts to make positive prints. But when he looked at the pictures in the light, the chemicals continued to react and the picture went dark. In 
1837, he found a way to fit the image. These images are known uh, as, how do you say that? Daguerreotypes. Daguerreotypes. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome. Claudia, choose somebody, please. Okay. Hey, sorry. Let me see. Uh, David Samuel. Oh, wait, wait, except David Samuel, because he already read. Except oh, David, okay. Anna, somebody who hasn't participated yet. Okay. Uh, the... Mm, Rafael. Rafael, good. Many developments of development. Of, developments of photographic equipment. Equipment. Equipment were made in the 19th century. Glass plates covered with light sens sensitive chemical were used to produce clear, sharp, positive prints on paper. In the 1870s, George Eastman proposed using roll of paper films coated with chemical to replace the to replace glass plates. Then in 1888, Eastman began manufacturing the Kodak camera, the first modern light, light, lightweight camera the people call, carry, and use. Cool. All right. Thank you, Rafael. And can you ask the next person to finish the last paragraph, please? Me? Suma? Yeah. Okay. During the you. during the twentieth century, many technological improvements were made. One of the most important was color film. The color film is made for layers of chemicals that are sensitive or red, green, and blue light from which all other color can be made. Despite the fact that the space age has witnessed the creation of array of technology, Marvel until recently, even the ability to take photographs of distant galaxy from above the Earth's atmosphere with Orbital satellite what grounded the basic principle of photography that Naispil nice used when he took his first fusy negative pictures. Okay, okay, good, thank you. So in your conclusion, um Adelina, what is the story about? It's about how they create camera or printed photographs. Okay, it's about how they created cameras or the printed photographs or negatives? Because yeah, you're right. I mean, it, it does talk about, it does mention the camera, the Kodak. But if you notice the story is a little bit more how they discovered how to work with negatives. <laughs> That's that's what it's mostly emphasized in. But okay, let's see, let's see the answer. So, class, it says, according to the passage, what problem did Daguerre encounter? What happened? His pictures were all negative images. He could not find a way to make positive images. His positive images would darken, or he could not reverse the fixed image. His positive images will darken. That's what you think? All right. Does somebody think anything different? Letter B. He could not find a way to make positive image. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's have a little debate here. <laughs> Adelina, 
where did you fight? Why why do you think it's B? Can you tell me what part of the um yeah, it says later Luis the grief found a way to reserve the black mm -hmm. in a white part to make positive but, print. But I'm sorry, it, that would be the first, second, third, or fourth paragraph. Uh it's the second one. Second paragraph, which sentence? Third sentence, I think. No. It's almost at the end. Yeah, it's almost at the end. Okay. In so. the four rows before the end. One, two more. Yeah. No, no, no. One, two, one more. Yeah, go to your right. Yeah, in that. No. Oh, later. Okay. Oh, yeah. Later, Louis Daguerre found a way to reverse oh, the black way. and white parts to make positive prints. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But, nah, this is there, the rolling. there this you is go. The Good, David. Yes. But when he looked at the pictures in the light, the chemicals to continue to react and the pictures went dark. That reason is the leader C. For that reason? Yeah. Okay. Good. Remember, remember the Adeline that it says in the beginning, do not just because you see it there, it you have to really analyze. Yeah, okay. like I like what David said right there. But when you see a but. It's like it's like a a red flag, like uh oh. oh. Mm. Okay, so does anybody think something different? Because uh, from C, his positive images will be darkened. Let's see. One answer we can definitely eliminate is A, because there's no mention in the paragraph of his pictures were all negative. Choice B is not mentioned at all in the passage either. Choice C looks like what is said here in this paragraph, that the chemicals continue to react and the pictures went dark, might be the information we need. Choice D is incorrect because it says that he found a way to reverse the black and white parts to make positive prints, so it is contradicting one of the choices. That leaves choice C, which is supported by the eighth line from the second paragraph. Therefore, C is the correct answer. Awesome. But very good. And thank you, Adeline. I, I do see why, why you chose that answer, because it was stated in, in, in the reading. But like the reading said before, yes, but read the complete if it, if it doesn't contradict. Okay. And, and look at the question. The question is, according to the passage... What problem did Degree encounter? So, when does the kid say according to the passage? All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, class. Um, we'll continue this more tomorrow. Okay. 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 And see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much. Have bye -bye. a good evening. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.